How's it like living in Honolulu? It, it, it's great living out here, honestly. You know, it's a perfect balance between like city life and adventure. You I know? love it. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Yeah, welcome to Castro's. Guys, I did something crazy the other day. Another day in beautiful Hawaii. Today, Kevin over here has invited me and Kim to join something that they call a reef cleanup. <laughs> what is up you guys good morning welcome back to a new travel vlog from beautiful Honolulu in this video blog I'm gonna be showing you a little bit around the city I'm gonna go surfing at Waikiki and review a couple of restaurants hang out with the boys good morning there Kevin up, bro? how you doing <laughs> how's it like living in Honolulu it feels pretty good it feels pretty good it's, it's a nice city in paradise honestly <laughs> you know the nightlife's that life's good. We do special events. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're talking checkout. about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's been it's it, it's great living out here. Honestly, you know, it's a perfect balance between like city life and adventure. You I know? love it. And you, you know, like the other islands are just a short hop away, you know? Like maybe you get kind of crazy and you go to the big island for a couple <laughs> of weeks. Like, who knows? The possibilities are endless. Talking about big island, we're actually flying there tomorrow. It's going to be a good time. And hey, say good morning to my uh, my bus buddy, Kim. What's up? What's up? Been living in Honolulu for two weeks. Uh, amazing, amazing. Good time? Yeah, having a great time. Let's get some breakfast. Let's get some breakfast. Guys, we are going to a breakfast place with our friend right now. It's growing in Waikiki. Hey getting picked up in a Tesla. Yep, Honolulu's pretty modern. Actually, a lot of people think about Hawaii as an island in the middle of the Pacific, but hey, check it out. Big building. Woo. I always put you on the spot in the morning, Kevin. I'm sorry for it's that. It's okay, you know? it's okay. I don't mind, I don't mind. <laughs> I, like, I like living on the edge, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but... Exactly. <laughs> So, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing, but I used to be a student at Hawaii Pacific University in Hawaii. This is my first time back in five years. The last couple of weeks, we've been exploring east side, we've been exploring west side, north shore. We had a great time. There's a couple of video blogs out there that you should definitely check out. A lot of adventure, funny things we've been getting into. But the most common questions I get asked on my Instagram is when students are looking online, they find my old videos from when I was a student in Hawaii. They ask me, where should I live? What place should I get? And, and I always have to answer this question, so I'm going to just answer it in this video blog so they make it a little easier for you. And to do that, we have the map inside the Tesla here, which I think is really good. So we're going to dive right into it. So here you guys see a map of Honolulu, you have Waikiki over here, which is a very nice place to get an apartment. Also, Macaulay is the place I used to live. You have Ala Moana, which we just left. And then the school is over here where it says Honolulu. So but all the cool students are living in this area. And then you have UH Manoa up here. So if you're aiming for either Waikiki, Macaulay or Ala Moana, you'll be in a good spot with a lot of students around you. I would say Waikiki is probably the most expensive one. Second is Alamoana, and then if you are a couple of people together, you should definitely try to get a house in Macaulay, which we did. We got a whole house for $2,100 a month. I thought it was a really good score when I was living here. Um, and yeah, there are definitely places like Craigslist you can look up, or even go to sell your stuff at HPU Facebook group. That's where a lot of people are listing their apartments or looking for roommates. Um, don't get a dorm at Aloha marketplace or whatever it's called that's a big ripoff i think they charged me two thousand dollars to share a room with a guy for half a year i never felt more ripped off in my entire life so don't go for the student housing that's my honest opinion i would uh, look online to find some roommates and you know make it a little bit more fun So here in uh, Waikiki, every stall has one of these. That's for public parking. It's three dollars an hour. Mm, that's actually not that bad. Some places in Oslo can be like ten dollars an hour. I'm not even kidding. Hey guys, today we're hanging out with our friend Italo. We're gonna blow up this spot called Castro. <laughs> He's always working, never chilling. What's up, Italo, my man? Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Cheers, this cheers. is the spot, isn't it? Yeah, welcome to Castro's. <laughs> I manage the social media here. So in here getting a quick shot, a couple shots where you guys come in and we enjoy an epic meal, man. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of shots, look at this guy over here trying to impersonate Italo. Speaking yeah. <laughs> of Castro's right here, right here. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay guys, we are seated outside on Castro's. The table's getting filled with different wonderful colors. I know. I so colorful. Definitely yeah. feel like I'm in a little bit of Cuba here. This yeah. is really cool. This is really cool. <laughs> the ad salmon is wow. so Wow. <laughs> they just rolled in a house. <laughs> Avocado toast with smoked salmon. Norwegians, we love our smoked salmon, so it's pretty cool that they added that on top. Oh, Kim is working. Very good, Kim. Yo, 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 what's happening, Kim? So we're out surfing. I got batter over here. Just paid $20 to surf. I got 80. <laughs> this one, she got it for free. She got it for free. It's, it's so unfair, yeah, they, but at the same time, maybe not. Guys, if you're a girl, maybe you deserve it. Anyway, here, it's $20 for two hours of surf. We're out in the Kiki Beach right now. A little bit flat, but, you know, it's perfect spot for people who wanted to learn surf for the first time and bring the GoPro mount so we're gonna try to actually capture this for you I think one of the hardest parts about surfing is filming it it's almost impossible I'll do my best how did you how did you do that what's the secret this big smile and just shaka faka <laughs> Guys, I did something crazy the other day. I bought my first ever luxury bag from Louis Vuitton. This is something that's been in my dreams for a very long time, you know, it's been like a goal of mine to one day feel like you're doing so well that you can go to a luxury store and just buy your dream item. So a lot of people have been asking me about the bag. We have announced it on our Patreon page weeks ago, so you know, Patreons always get to see things first. But, of course, I'm gonna also reveal it in the vlog, I wanted to show it to you. They gave me this oversized box, which I thought was really funny. And we had a lot of fun with it, just walking around, you know, in Ala Moana. Obviously, this is not normal for me to buy luxury items, so I had a little fun with it. I think you're allowed to do that. But here is the bag that I got. Guys, this is the Keep All Bundler 50 inch from Louis Vuitton. Also has a very special feature here guys, because if you buy a luxury item from Louis Vuitton here in Hawaii, you get the luggage tag with the Hawaii emblem on it. And on the back, I put my initials, Martin Solagen MS. It's a very nice bag. It's kind of like a weekender, all black. Um, doesn't scream, even though if you know, you know. You know what I mean? I like that. And um, yeah, I mean, it's been, a dream in my head for so long and this is a little gift to myself for really hard work the past year I just wanted to show it to you this is the luxury bag I've been buying obviously I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this and today since we're doing like a Honolulu guide typical thing from our living room here in this 39 floor penthouse apartment we can pretty much see all of Honolulu what so we're gonna explore today is the area known as Kaka'ako it's basically all the small buildings you see, starting from that skyscraper over there, all the way here. It's considered to be Kaka'ako, very hip, very graffiti, cool. And then you have these sky, skyscrapers that are just rising all the way next to it. So who knows, in a couple of years, maybe it'll all be gone. But it's a very cool place that you should consider visiting when you are in Honolulu. So over here, you're starting to see the beginning of, of Waikiki. You have the Makali area, and we're currently staying in Ala Moana. So it's very cool and we're gonna do like a little lifestyle shoot today me and my buddy Kim we're gonna go out there um, trying to shoot some some Instagram photos really but I'll also bring the vlog out and, and try to show you some of the most spectacular graffiti pieces which can be discovered in Kakaku. 
<laughs> Alright Kim, first location in Kakaku? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> you guys can see we found this really cool wall here which is Queen Street Tattoo. This is actually a real place, a shop. I'm gonna set up a shop right here now. We, we just we kind of decided that we want to go for about five spots today. We're gonna try to discover five different spots within Kakaku. Colorful walls, different backgrounds and just, and just go with it. Um. Alright, a second location on today's photo trip. We are now deep within Kakako. We're finding these old, almost like airplane hangers, full of graffiti. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pull out our 7200 lens to compress the background. There's a lot of noise in the scenes, but by using this, we can compress the background and make the shot look a lot better. Alright guys, we've been shooting now for about, I think one hour, we've been walking around Kakako. We figured out that most of the cool spots are closer to downtown Honolulu. And we made it all the way to a kind of new place called Salt. There's a lot of cool and hip shops here, and also a lot of good barbecue. We actually stopped at this one place and ordered a ribeye steak and some chicken, which we're gonna get really soon. I'm starting to get really hungry. Um, How about you, my friend? I'm uh, thirsty and hungry. You know what? I can I can help with that. Here Whoa. we go. Here's a diet coke. Let's where, see. where did you get that? Ah, bro. <laughs> you know. Let's... Right, guys, eating here at Pioneer Saloon. We've been served our beef and chicken. Check it out. Slam, man. I mean, after all that wonderful shooting, I think it's time to eat too. Yeah, we deserve that. We do deserve that. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Woo. All right, top of the parking lot. Yeah, buddy. Let's take some photos. Please. Well, guys, got some really sick photos, but I think our walk through Kakaako is kind of done. The sun is uh, about to set in just a couple of hours, so we're going to head out to Waikiki now. Let's go. Another day in beautiful Hawaii. Today, Kevin over here has invited me and Kim to join something that they call a reef cleanup. You might be familiar with a beach cleanup. Here in Hawaii, there are groups that really want to take care of the island. It's part of living in such a beautiful paradise. And we also have to give back. So I'm very thankful, Kevin, that we get to join you today for this. <laughs> yeah, we're all eco-friendly today. Yeah. We're gonna go out on the boat mm -hmm. um, and go clean up the oceans so that more people can enjoy the islands for longer. Amazing. So that's also something that you can consider doing when you're here, giving a little bit back. So excited to see a rainbow again. It's definitely been a while. In Norway, we don't see them that often. Here in Hawaii, they're actually pretty common. And that is, uh, I will tell you why right now. So due to the high mountains that are located at Center Island here on Oahu, in the morning or usually in the evenings when uh, the temperature change due to the sunrise and sunset the weather will pull towards the mountains clouds rain but there's always sun by the beach which is why you get the rainbows hawaii is also referred to as the rainbow state with good reason on all the license plates here in hawaii on the cars there's a little rainbow oh shoots bro look <laughs> look at that side of rainbow right there Parking spot with rainbows. <laughs> Love it. Okay guys, we are now out on the boat with Pro Tech and the Chilling Chameleons. So we've been learning a lot since we got on the boat and this is actually a crypto event that we're on right now. We're gonna go out and clean some beaches. I'm actually going to link the project in the description below because if you want to purchase an NFT, all the sales of the NFTs will go to helping the environment here in Hawaii. It's floor price, it's very cheap right now, so you might want to get in on that. Let's see how much scratch we can clean up. And they told me that the community has been growing. They have 20,000 people in the community on Discord right now. So people are actually cleaning, cleaning up all around the world as we are doing this right now. This is why I love the crypto space. You get to meet all these like-minded individuals and talk about, you know, technologies. Guys, come along, it's gonna be a good day. Wow, it's 
kind of fancy boat. <laughs> wow. Wow. They told us this boat is over 100 years old, Kim. It's pretty old. It's pretty old. It's pretty old. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're in Hawaii, you're gonna have to put on some sunscreen. <laughs> Actually, a thing I've learned, and this is a pretty fun fact. For a Norwegian to live in Hawaii for two years is equivalent to live in Norway for 20 years of sun exposure. So we gotta make sure we don't look old. Guys, we're so excited. Hey, let's go. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. Get in the water, find some trash, keep the reefs clean. Nice. Would you guys like to introduce yourself? Like, as you Hiya. What's up, guys? My name is Darren. I'm 29, born and raised in Maui, founder of Pro2 Tech, and we're doing a lot of conservation work funded by NFTs and non fungible tokens in the metaverse. Yes, and I'm Nicole Cizak. I'm known for being on season three of Temptation Island. But now I am doing ocean conservation, trying to save the world. I want to say thank you guys for coming and let's go pick up some trash. You guys are awesome. Let's do it. Hey. trash that Crazy. the guys found. You got a phone too. They found a phone. Like we have cups, t-shirts, check it out. Plastic. You know they're saying what is that? COVID's a pandemic, but trash is a pandemic just as much. And look what's in there. Very true. A mask. Very true. Did you guys find anything cool? All right, guys, we are now back at the marina here at Alamoana, and this was a really, really fun boat trip. I personally had never done anything like this one. If you're coming to Hawaii, you also should be aware of that they do offer boost cruises, which is very popular from Waikiki. You'll go out for about an hour, but if you're more on the sustainable side, maybe figuring and finding something like this is more in, you know, aligned with your values. So whatever works for you, honestly, I just wanted to let you know that there are definitely different things you can do while you're here sailboats or cruise ships like this one. All right, let's go for lunch. I have a very cool place that I want to tip you about and I haven't been there for a while, so let's go eat. Here we are guys, the crew's back in a Tesla. We're gonna head to The Spot, one of my favorite places here in Hawaii. And when I was a student, it's one of the cheapest places on the island to get like a proper meal, a home cooked meal, chicken, rice, and some vegetables. So you guys are gonna love that. I learned something new today. I learned that in the local Hawaiian language, there's not a word for winter or summer due to the fact that there's pretty much the same season or the same weather all year around. There's always a consistent temperature. So in the local Hawaiian language, they only have a word for wet and dry. Wet season, dry season. And that ties into something else, which is called a palm fever. And since Hawaii is kind of like a timeless place, people that have lived here their entire life tend to tell me that five years just snap it's by it goes by so fast because it's a timeless place and it I just wanted to convey this message to you because that's really for me a good way to explain Hawaii the island feeling when you're here the island boy yeah. this is actually how you know you walk in Hawaii after a week in Hawaii, this is what happens to you. Slippers, board shorts, topless. I swear to God. It's my lunch break. I'll go back to work. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. I swear to God. My God, this place brings back so many memories. That. Thank you. So, Tom's gonna be 2147. Yes. Check it out. Moroccan chicken. The hot food is good though. Mm, this is amazing. So, here basically, what you're seeing here is about $10. Believe it or not, it's one of the cheapest options you can find on the island. Hawaii is pretty expensive. Alright, guys, so here you're looking at the spot 650 meal. I think it's three pieces of chicken. And when you go to the regular, you get four pieces of chicken. So that's the only difference. So 
you could pretty much play around with the 650. I think I, it's a, I, I think I think this is where it's at. Yeah, I agree. Because the actual amount of food almost almost the same. I agree. Yeah. So you it get really the same amount of rice. Yep. You get the same amount of salad. Exactly. You might get an extra piece of chicken, but mm. you know. So the mini yeah. 650, that's where it's at. An extra 30 you know, percent. Mm. Like, it's, it. it's a good meal. When I was a college student, I used to go for that one all the time. Mm. Guys, it's our last evening in Honolulu, and we booked a table at a place called Duracos. It's a very popular local spot. They have um, sushi, Japanese dishes. I think it's a great way to end the night. Yeah. You have to dress up a little bit more when you go into this spot. We'll show it to you right now. Japanese tea. To start the day. Go. Yum. All right, boys are full on sushi. The food at Duraco was really, really good. However, since we didn't have a reservation, we received it at the bar. And I would, honestly, my opinion was that that is not worth it. Make sure you get a reservation to be a little smarter than us. <laughs> <laughs> then I think it's gonna be a very romantic setting. We did see a lot of people have a really good time in there. And I mean, don't get me wrong, we had a really good time as well. It was bro time. It was, it was good. It was, I kind of think, one of our most fine dining experience here in Hawaii so far. We've been doing a lot of plate lunches and other things. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video from Honolulu, the little lifestyle we get into here. We are going to Big Island tomorrow, so if you guys want to see more about what Big Island is like, or if you want to see other Hawaii videos, make sure to check out the link in the description here. We'll give you the Hawaii playlist. And we are going to head out now. We will see you on the next video blog. Until then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.